Hi folks, so now I'm going to uh, show you how to actually make a hotel booking using a, a booking site. So the previous video was showing you how to use Trivago, um, which is a search engine for all of these other sites. But um, you cannot actually book the hotel on Trivago. You have to, um, it will send you through to whichever booking site you've chosen. Um, from there. So I'm going to start this with um, just starting a booking on Expedia. So if you know that you want to book with Expedia, you're not using Trivago, you're just coming to Expedia or Booking.com or Hotels.com or um, Travelocity or any of these other sites that you can book a hotel with, this is where you would start. So Obviously with Expedia, you've got the option to book flights, hotels, bundles, cars, cruises, anything that you want to do, but we're just going to concentrate on how to book a hotel. So first we need to tell it where we're going. So we're going to Dublin Island and our check-in date, we'll select, let's select the 3rd of May and we're going to check out. It will automatically give you one night. So even if you never touch this, it will give you one night, but let's suppose we want to stay for two nights. So we change that. We're not going to add a flight or a car. We're just going to search for a hotel and we've got two adults staying in the room. So uh, tra um, tra uh, Expedia will now bring up uh, all of the hotels it has available. Uh, for those two nights so we can scroll through the list and just find whichever hotel suits us so let's try the Clontarf Castle Hotel now you can actually narrow this list um, so you want either a guest rating of five out of five or you're happy to go with three and a half up the star rating the price per night what neighborhood you'd like to be in whether or not you want any amenities, um, free breakfast, for example, or airport transfer, the type of property, um, popular locations. So these are the places where there's lots of hotels and they're great locations that people like to stay. And then whether you need um, particular accessibility options within the room. So, um, you can sort the properties by the distance from downtown. You'll notice that it defaulted to the recommended. Um, or you can choose the price. It'll start at the lowest and go to the highest. Um, you can choose to sort it by, I think, best deals is a good one. So these are the ones where you're getting a really good discount on the hotel. Um, but let's go back to recommended hotels. So these are the ones that other guests um, really like. Expedia thinks they're really good, so they're going to give you those as an option. You can also look on the map view. So this will show you where all the hotels are uh, visually which is often a good way to look at it and then you can hover over and you can keep going in as close as as you like you can hover over well it'll tell you the name of the hotel you can click on it if if it's of interest if you click on it it shows you the hotel and then you can click through to that hotel but we'll close that map out and look at how we actually book so we're going to go with the Clontarf Castle Hotel and it, we get a, a, some information here um, from other visitors. You can look at the reviews. This is what other travelers have to say about the hotel. You can check out the amenities of the hotels, um, what room types they have. Now here is where you've got your room types listed. We'll come back to that in a moment. You can look at photos. So basically um, 
here is where we get down to the business of actually booking they do give you comparative prices on other sites um, but they're all the same so we'll just keep going now here's our rooms we can choose from a deluxe double or twin standard room double standard twin standard with breakfast and you'll see that each of the hotels gives you or each of the room types gives you what's included in that for instance this one here twin standard room only means that you're not going to get breakfast but it is available for 14.5 uh, euros so the room that's generally at the top is usually the cheapest um, if you hover over the eye or click on the eye it's telling you what your what the room rate is per night that you're staying so we're staying on a Thursday and Friday you'll notice that the rooms more expensive on Friday so what it's doing is adding these together to get an average uh, price of 213 per night so just some details you can click on more details and find out whether the room has everything that you would like and then we can update this if we've changed our minds or made a mistake and then we just hit reserve now you have two options you can either pay online now this will require you to give your credit card information and you will be charged right away you can also use debit credit paypal and now bitcoin um, there is free cancellation um, and the difference is that this is an estimated price if you pay later the price may change slightly between now and later and that's because the currency um, conversion may change so as of today right now the conversion rate is going to be 213 dollars a night but who knows what it might be um, by the time you arrive at the hotel so there is some advantage in paying now but there is if you if you're really not comfortable with um, paying now just pay at the hotel so it will now process the request you'll often find that it's more expensive to pay later in this case it's not but um, it's often the case so now we this form is very simple to fill in literally just put in your name your phone number you can receive text alerts uh, you can put in bedding requests let's say for example you would prefer two twin beds you can put in special requests these might be things such as um, wanting to have a room that's on a higher floor or wanting an, a room in a particular part of the hotel if you are familiar with the hotel um, rooms away from elevators those kinds of things um, just general requests now you do need even if you're not paying now you do need to put in a credit card or a debit card the reason for that is that if you don't show up the hotel will charge you for one night's accommodation even though it has free cancellation you have to let the hotel know usually with at least 24 hours notice that you're not coming um, so don't assume that well I have free cancellation so if I don't show up it'll be okay because you will be charged um, that's a standard practice across the hotel industry so filling out all this information then fill out your email address and now it gives you the option to join um, if you're not already a member this can be quite um, valuable um, because you'll get points and you can use those points eventually for cash off um, your trips so this is very optional you, you don't have to join to make the booking it's really up to you and then you'll find the important information don't neglect to read this <laughs> cancellations made after midnight on May the 1st or no shows are subject to a, pro a property fee equal to 100% of the total amount paid for the reservation well now this is important because this is different to 
um, many hotels. Many hotels will only charge you for the first night, whereas this property will show you, will charge you for the entire reservation. So you need to be careful if there's any chance that you may be cancelling, that you do it before midnight on the 1st of May. Um, so we're actually due to check in on the 3rd of May, so that's two days prior that you'll have to give notice. Um, it's a good idea to at least scan over some of these uh, rules and restrictions. Um, so these are just pretty stock standard, but you need to probably be aware of them. The rules and restrictions are probably the most important. Um, so at this point, you would complete your booking. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to make a booking. So I always find it's a good idea just to do a quick check over before I hit the confirm button that I have, in fact, booked the right thing. Um, I have booked the wrong thing um, in the past. It does happen. So um, always a good idea to um, just do a double check. And you'll notice here, this, uh, as I was mentioning before, the prices are in US dollars and are estimated on today's exchange rate. Final payment will be settled directly with the hotel in the local currency. So obviously the local currency for this hotel is the euro. So um, Expedia can't say for sure what the final conversion will be. So that's why it is only an estimated price. If you want absolute certainty, then you need to choose the other option, which is to pay now. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Now you will receive an email confirmation um, with all the details. Um, so simple, easy, done. And then the one advantage also, I think, of having an account with places like Expedia is that all of your information will be kept in one place. So you can actually sign in and you can see everything that you have booked right there. Um, it does save carrying a lot of paperwork around if when you're traveling. So that's it. Um, all of the booking sites work pretty much the same way. They might have slightly different um, forms to fill out, but most of them are the same. Most of them are extremely simple to use. Um, it's extremely safe to do this. I've been booking hotels online for many years. I've never had an issue. Um, you'll notice that it has the lock. We use secure transmission and encrypted storage. Um, so you're safe using these and it's safe to use your credit card. One tip that I do have, um, this is just a personal tip. Um, I keep a separate credit card with a low credit limit on it for using online. Um, and that way I know that if my credit card information does fall into the wrong hands, there's a there's a limit to how much they can spend. Um, I just feel more comfortable with that than using my credit card that has an extremely high limit on it so that um, you can keep track a lot more easily as well if you use just the one card for all your online purchases. But that really is just a personal um, thing and that's my little tip. <laughs> so I hope that you found this helpful and um, happy travels.